22nd of May 1943. Patrol log of U-437. We have been patrolling grid sector B-1155 without a sight of an enemy ship. During this time we have received constant messages regarding losses of other U-boat crews, with very few successful reports coming through. No one amongst the crew will mention it, but there is a growing uneasiness amongst the men. We feel our days may be numbered. We know there will be no glorious victory parade for us. Hi everyone, welcome to U-437, our weekly patrol log. We've just been buzzed by a uh, American fighter aircraft. Now, it looks like um, an old uh, SBC. So, is there a carrier in the area, do you reckon? Um, I'm quite tempted, just to... Uh, is he still in the area? Can we get the um, observation periscope up, please? And we'll see which way he's heading back. Um, fortunately, we... We spotted them on radar early enough to be able to dive and um, not get bombed by him. But he's, he strafed us. We got a few hits on them. Nothing, nothing much to report. To be fair. Oh, beautiful, beautiful sky. Can we spot him? Because if he heads back to what well, I assume is base, which would be a aircraft carrier then um, I'd like to follow and see what's that way because we are here that's a long flight well Ireland is neutral so you can't have taken off from Ireland that is a long flight for an aircraft of that size so it's got to be an aircraft carrier they didn't they didn't um, put those aircraft on like merchant ships as catapult ships, did they? I know they did that with hurricanes, but I'm not sure if the Americans used it that much. Could be a spotter plane for a capital ship, maybe? I don't know. But not, it's got to be a, a carrier, hasn't it? Probably an escort carrier or something. No, nothing obvious, which is a shame. We'll keep the observation periscope up for a while and let the, um, the crew go on there. Uh, yeah, we're here. We've uh, we've received some orders. Patrol sector BE1155, which we have now completed. And we just had an update to, to um, head to sector BE2455, which is exactly what we're doing. So, yeah, we were over here patrolling this sector. Didn't get anything. And now we're heading over to BE2455. And 55 is obviously in the middle. So, um, yeah, with the... Um, for those of you who, who say what do you mean obviously it's 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 the grid tool so you know you kind of stick that in your sector so it's BE24 stick the grid in there and you got 55 which is obviously 51 52 53 54 and 55 smack bag in the middle so that's what I mean by obviously so that yeah that's if you didn't know I'm sure most of you did by now but that's fine I just thought I'd uh, throw that in there as a bit of uh, information for the, anyone new watching the channel so we're heading to this sector now. We have torpedoes reloaded in tubes 1 to 4 and in 5. So we've got steam in 1 and 2. We've got a homing, passive acoustic homing in 3. And we've got an improved electric T3 in 4. We've got two spare steams. Obviously got the external spare as well. Uh, and we've got uh, an acoustic homing in the rear. A spare acoustic homing and an external spare as well. 
So yeah, lots of uh, fun to be had still. So we're going to continue on to BE2455. Patrol around there for 48 hours, see if we can get any um, quarry. And if not, they'll uh, see if we get any further orders or we'll go on a wild hunt. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when something happens. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, um, an aircraft's just coming into the area. I'm not sure if he's going to attack. Uh, he's caught us unawares. Our radar was damaged in the last strafe from that American aircraft. Um, so we didn't spot him till really late. It looks like he's coming around. So we're, we're running up to um, flank speed now. And then we'll start doing uh, some maneuvers so he can't get a bomb run on us. Hard to port. Gunners have spotted him, I think. Where is he low? Where is he? Oh, yeah, it's that guy again. Right on my chips. Get him, boys. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Hard to starboard. Hard to starboard. Hard to port. Hard to port. Right. Give us a go. Oh, reloading. Gunner's opening up, but he's got an engine fire now. Go on, finish him off, boys. Finish him off. Ha <laughs> ha That's what you get for attacking us. Oh, we don't know where his, his uh, home um, carrier is, though, sadly. But he's not going to be around any time to report us, so that's good. Well done, Cruz. Let's get back on course, please. Slow us down. Protect the engines, protect the diesel. What a beautiful sunset. Prepare for course change. So there we go, an aircraft added to our tally. It's a Brewster SB2A Buccaneer aircraft was shot down. Nice. Returning to course. It's just a bit of a distraction, isn't it? But um, hopefully as the sun sets, we'll get a little bit further during the night without being bothered by any of these aircraft. Um, let's just have a quick look to see how the radar's coming on. Is it all repaired? Oh, I think it's repaired. Everything's looking good. Right, so we're going to carry on. And I'll see you back in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. We got smoke on the horizon, bearing 249. Look at that, smoke. So smoke, 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 oh it's gone. We've got a convoy. We spotted a convoy. Um, so we're now racing to try and get into a position where we think um, it's going to be good. Here's the convoy here. Um, we're gonna, trying to get down plotted kind of their rough path. I did a, a speed check here. Over one minute they're doing 150 meters which will translate to something in the region of 154 is five knots. They're doing five knots. Good so we got that. Uh, there seems to be quite a few ships and quite a few escorts as well which will be a bit tricky. Um, so we've got the two steam and the electric and the homing acoustic. So we'll try and get those away all in one go. And then we're going to have to dive. Um, what's the, uh, the depth of the water here? Just as a matter of interest. Just so we can plot our uh, escape. It looks quite deep. 
yeah, it's beyond, it's beyond the uh, crush depth, so it's fine. Yeah, there we go. Confirmation. Right, so um, what we can probably do is um, secure the flat guns. Get those boys in. We'll stay at battle stations. Uh, and we'll uh, charge on in, dive down and try and set up an ambush. Okay then, let's have a look. We're in position, which I hope is going to be a good position. Still a little bit ways away, so because I can't see anything, it's a little bit of a worry. But maybe it's just because we've uh, we got ahead of them. I oh, hope they haven't changed course. I oh, know there they are. There they are. Okay, coming from 280. Okay, that's probably where we'd expect them to come from. I'm coming at slight, quite the angle I thought they would do. Looks like an escort out there. Okay, so they're still quite a far away, way too far away to actually um, get some identification. So we'll give them a little more time to get a bit closer. Okay, they're coming a little bit closer now. They're starting to appear as contacts. Wow, look at them! Rows and rows of ships with escorts in front. Oh my goodness, where to begin, eh? Where to begin? Oi, what's that? It's a war warship. Is it just a... Oh, it's quite big. Is that a... Oh, it's a tribal destroyer. It's, just, it's obviously just a bit closer than this. See, that one looks big as well. New contact, merchant, moving What's that one? Closing. Bearing two, nine, no, the seven, one be beside it. Range. Oh, we can't... S Target That's the tribal destroyer. There's one here which looks quite big. Uh, which is... That looks big. I wonder if that's a. Uh, it's not showing up yet. So you've got tribal destroyers on the outline here. So what is this? It's a warship, I know that. That's... Slightly smaller. Um, I suppose it's not really. Can't see that yet. Um. What to do, what to do, what to do. There's a lot there. But, um, the problem is, we might get detected. Uh, hopefully, we're going to go. Ooh, yeah, we'll probably get this one's going to be right down on us, upon us, which is not going to be good. Um, some gaps breaking up. Look, this, this destroyer has um, left the ring and um, has probably gone to find a contact that is detected. And then they tighten up the ring while one goes off to sort of um, scout I think and we know we know from reports they're not going to stay with the convoy if they don't need to if they if they find a contact they're going to hunt it till the death which is going to be an ex challenge what is that still can't see it it's it's like literally there Do you know what? I'm leaning like literally my nose is touching my screen. New contact, warship, moving fast, closing, bearing three, That's boxy. Zero, three, long range. Could that be the carrier we've been looking for? It would certainly explain the uh, the Brewster we shot down earlier. Uh, what sort of range are we talking down to there? Five thousand meters or so? Where is he? He's there, look. Oh, 6,000. It's kind of... We've got the homing acoustic, though, so... We know they're doing five knots. Oh, I want to see that. what that is. That looks chunky. Let's have a look at what else we got in there. We've got, we've got the destroyers, we know that. We've got some ships here, which are just merchants by looks like that's just a destroyer coming straight for us. You can see the roads clearly. And 
just to destroy it. Yeah. So, you know, from that, if we could get a... Where is it? There. Earth is that? I'd love to know. Tracking new target. It is an aircraft carrier. We've just crept in. I've moved forward a little bit, and we've just crept in range. It's a charger escort carrier. There we are. I knew there was a carrier in the area. Right. We should be going for the... I know we should be going for New the merchants, but I, a carrier. Housing, when are we ever going to see a carrier again? Range. There she is. There she is. Right. Angle of bow. Sat fifty six. Let's just nudge that up to 56. Um, range. Because, you know, we the good thing about firing from range, as long as we get our calculations correct, um, we can fire early and then try and dive, and we get a little bit more chance to get away from the destroyers. So it, we're looking at 5,100 meters. Wrong one. 5,100 meters. Wow. It's going to be quite a shot. Uh, why have we lost tracking of her? There we go. Uh, let's just do another angle of bow calculation. Fifty-eight now. 58, perfect. So, we've got bearing, range, speed, 5 knots. We've got that set. And we've got it as an aircraft carrier. Wow. Right, so we've got steam in 1 and 2. So we'll go steam. We're going to try and hit her. Uh, medium speed, impact. Get that flooded. Two, medium speed, impact. Get that flooded. Three is the homing acoustic. So this is the uh, electric one. We'll put that underneath. Magnetic. Get that flooded. And this one uh, we'll put there. And that can go um, medium speed. Oh, no, it can't. And it'll go impact as well. So we'll go tube four, fire first. I'm going to wait for the gyro angle to come around if we are allowed to. Impact time five minutes. New contact, warship moving fast. Let's just double check all the calculations and fire early, I think. Long range. Is that sixty? Sixty. Range speed we calculated. Right, so tube four. Fire. Tube four. Now uh, these are these got only got um three minutes fifty five. So tube three the acoustic one. That's gonna be slow, so you go as well. Now three fifty five on these two. So we'll wait a minute. And then we'll fire these two. New contact, merchant moving fast, closing, bearing two, eight, nine, long range. Tube one, stand by. Fire. Tube two, we're going over fifteen seconds. New contact, merchant moving fast, closing, bearing two nine one, long range. Two. Five. Right. Closing two. Let's get those torpedoes reloaded, please. Um. Right. Let's set a depth of 150 meters, New please. One five two meters. And. So the course that away. 
Yes, returning to course. Minimum speed ahead. Prepare for course change. Torpedoes are away. Hopefully, what I don't want is this returning acoustic one to, to get course. attracted by one of the destroyers. That would be a bit of a disaster. Then we've got to hope that our our maths calculations are right. Look at the medium torpedoes are now um, overtaking the acoustic. The acoustic one's really slow. New contact, merchant, moving fast. I've got a fear the acoustic one might go for this destroyer. Long range. New contact, warship, moving fast, constant distance, bearing three, 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 long range. New contact, warship, moving fast, closing, bearing, two, nine, three, long range. Current depth, five, zero, meters. New contact, warship, moving slow, closing, bearing, three, one, zero, long range. New contact, warship, moving slow, closing, bearing, two, six, one, long range. Moving fast, closing, bearing. Welcome back everyone, right, we're diving now past 100 meters, still diving down, getting pinged. Uh, unfortunately, the escorts spotted the torpedoes uh, and they, um, they evaded, they uh, gunned their engines, turned, and uh, unfortunately we did not get a hit on that carrier. However, um, who's is that? Another group down there. Oh crap! There's two convoys. New contact, merchant, moving fast. Oh Distance man, two, eight, I've not seen that before. Range. We've got our convoy here. There's a convoy down there. Uh oh, that's a lot of destroyers. <laughs> um, so we're getting the torpedoes reloaded. Uh, we go. We, we've got to dive down anyway, and they're pinging us. There's no point going silent quite yet. New contact, uh, let's fast, let's just change course, throw them two, off a bit. Zero, one, long range. And we're going to continue to dive down. Um, the good news is we didn't get empty-handed. The I think it's probably the homing acoustic torpedo found a mark, and it sunk a flower corvette for 950 tons. Not quite what we were going for, but hey ho, every little helps. That's a well known supermarket he likes to say. So now we're getting pinged like crazy, and we just need to get down as deep as we can and sit quietly, and hopefully they'll get bored. We know they've been given orders to kill and not to uh, abandon the, the hunt to, uh, to stay with the convoys, so that's not good. I can imagine it's going to be a long time down here now evading them. New contact. Merchant moving slow, moving away. Bearing two zero four. Long range.
It's a horrible silence when the pinging stops. New contact, merchant and you're just waiting for an explosion. Bearing one, six, one. Long range. Pinging start again, okay. So many ships up there now. Anyway, so coming past 120 meters. Want to get down to at least, um, well, just to the red, 165, 170, and then we'll go all silent, and then we'll just drift down. Whoa, that was loud. Yeah, we'll drift down quietly, and hopefully they'll think we're dead. Oh, that was close. Contact warship moving fast. Closing bearing one six nine. Keep diving, boys. Keep turning. We'll keep wiggling. We'll find our way out of this. New contact. That was very close. That was very, very close. One five six long range. Yeah, so we'll look at the photo for a bit of um encouragement. Oh, they're just in front. Oh, I got some damage. Oh. Oh, no. I think this might be the end. Chief, where are you? What are we doing? I think the pressure hole's gone at this depth. Oh, we're dead. We've got to surface the boat. Chief, emergency blow. Oh no. No, 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 no. I think I just saw that. Yeah, that's gone. We've lost the front, we've lost the bow of the ship. I can't even get in there. We're, we're nosing down. Flank speed ahead. Try and get the ship up. Actually, we're climbing. Boys, we may not drown. This is good news. We'll be blown up to smithereens or captured. But that is better than drowning, I think. Unless we can get this under control. Flooding is 1%, the fresh there is, well, CO2 is 5%. So it's the uh, torpedo tubes have gone, bow uh, dive planes have gone, transmission's gone, the plane's structural integrity's gone, the uh, torpedo room pressure hole is gone, and uh, torpedo room hull integrity's gone, the buoyancy tank is gone, uh, the hull room integrity is gone, the radio. Direction finder, radio equipment, radio equipment's gone. Uh, observation periscope, attack periscope. Oh, we're starting to dive again. Flooding's becoming too much. Chief, the flooding's becoming too much. Uh, what's it? Chief, are you okay? The chief's down. We might as well activate the air purification for the time being. Oh my goodness, look at the angle we're going down at. Oh boys. Oh boys. This is the end. I'm sorry my man. It was an honour to serve with you.
And so, on the 21st of May, 1943, the BDU heard no more from U-437. Her final tally was 64 merchant ships, 8 warships, for a total tonnage of 487,851. Captain was regarded as a, a Seawolf, an ace, but unfortunately, the turning point of the war was indeed the last straw for poor Captain Taff and the crew of U-437. Your U-boat plunges into its final dive. Has the battle turned against Germany as it loses one more of its aces? Was it just bad luck, or has the enemy finally caught up with the tactics that have made you so Unfortunately, it is the historians studying your career that will have to answer that question.